And if you don't have the money to buy a new computer every year, make the most out of the old one that you have. NerdZone Call is here to help you revive that old PC. Well, if you have an older, slower computer and you don't quite have the budget for a new one, there is hope. Ken is with the experts from Nerds on Call to learn how to extend the life of an old computer. Yeah, back with Ryan again to talk about how we can do this. My uh, method of doing it is to basically go office space on the computer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Just to die. Take that keyboard and destroy it. Yeah. Well, you're saying there's an easier way. Well, you know, these days, if you want to get a new computer, obviously they're getting cheaper and cheaper. But sometimes you just don't have the money to do that. Right. So you can upgrade the hardware in your computer, add more RAM or add a new hard drive in there, and that'll certainly help it. But if you don't have any of that money at all to, right. to, to do that, here's what you can do. So a, a lot of us, I'll just go start over here. A lot of us, when we buy a new computer, it's got McAfee, it's got Symantec, it's yep. got Trend Micro. Well, these vi antivirus programs are just big and bulky, and the modern ones, they just slow a computer down. So there are free versions of, of software out Ooh. there that you can get. So Microsoft makes one called Microsoft Security Essentials. It's a free antivirus program. Anybody can use it. Get rid of McAfee and Symantec, get low that up. Malware bytes to remove malware and things. That's another thing you can do to make sure a computer's faster, is remove any malware or temporary internet programs you've got on your computer. That'll speed it up okay. lickety-split, so to speak. So let's say you've got uh, Photoshop or um, Microsoft Office on yep. your computer. Well, most most modern programs are made for speedy computers, Windows 7 and, and so forth. Right. But if, consider downgrading from Office 2012 or whatever, 2013, which is coming out. Downgrade to Office XP or older version, they'll run faster and smoother on older operating systems. And you still get the basic things that you need. Especially like Photoshop. Right. I mean, if you load Photoshop on an old PC, forget about it. It's going to take forever. So downgrade to an older version, you'll get the same basic version, of same basic stuff you can do, but it'll be a lot faster for you. Uh -huh. Also, your browser. Everybody uses Internet Explorer, but Internet Explorer gets infected really easy. Yep. You get toolbars all over. Half your screen's being taken up by mm -hmm. toolbars. Consider going to Firefox or Chrome. Chrome is actually the fastest browser on the internet right, right now and also remove all add-ons I mean there's add-ons and extensions yep. and things you can do to your browser remove all of that stuff your browsing will go a lot faster you're right when I made the switch to Firefox everything changed on my computer yeah it was it just a lot, it a lot easier yeah, yeah absolutely so then there's some minor upgrades you can do in terms of hardware let's say your CD drive just stopped working very well it's only 20 bucks to get one you can also buy them used on eBay for just a few dollars I mean practically shipping will be more expensive a new mouse a lot of times people have stuttery mouses because they just get clogged up yep. and stuff. So a new mouse, less than 20 bucks, you can get one of those. Or, uh, for example, if you got a keyboard, you can pick up a keyboard at Fry's for 5 or $10, and, and that'll make a, a world of difference for your computing. Another thing is if you're willing to go radical, ditch Windows entirely, yeah. and load up Linux. Now, Linux looks very similar to Windows, yeah. and this is Archbang. These are really lightweight installations. Your computer will go so fast, you wouldn't even know that it's the same computer. And is that free or is that cost money? These are free. Okay. These are free operating systems. Systems. Ubuntu is one. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like in a browser. As you can yeah. see, it looks exactly like uh, Microsoft does. And ArchBang, again, their desktop looks almost identical. It's just a little bit different. Um, but if you're willing to, to test it out, yeah. you'll be a lot happier. So it seems to me like for about $50 to $60, you can do all these things. Because a lot of the upgrades are free. However, mm -hmm. you say, go get a new keyboard, maybe $5 to $10. Yeah. Get a new mouse. Sure. And uh, I forgot the other thing that we're going to buy. Well, uh, new CD drive. A lot of CD times, drive. CD yeah, drives, yeah. they start making all kinds of noise and cranking but that's out. that's just 50 bucks. And, yeah. That's nothing. And, and, and that's at worst. I mean, for the most part, you can get most of this stuff for free. Aha. Isn't that cool? That's why he's here. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Always good You're to welcome. see you. This information, of course, will be linked to our website at Good Day Sacramento under show info. Marianne? Good stuff, because, you know, I just don't understand computers fully. But these guys do. Nerds on call, 4315 Marconi Avenue in Sacramento, almost to Eastern, right there on the Carmichael Marconi line. And they are uh, terrific, and they do a great job there in their little shop. You can also call them toll-free, 800-919. Nerd.